Hey everybody, welcome back to another diecast review. Today, we are taking a look at an all new arrival. This is a sprint car arrival. Both the 150th and 118th scale version of Austin McCarl. So this car came in. This is a car that I decided to get after last year's Knoxville Nationals run, where he did so well, qualifying on the pole, and was running in the top five for almost the entire race until a tire issue bit him, but a great run he was having in the Nationals there. Really wish he could have been able to get the finish he deserved up there in the top five. Um, and I say last year, 2022, 2023, I didn't go because I was an indie, but next year I plan to be back. So, um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, Austin McCarl getting to see this car, and also it is a gorgeous car. So let's get into it. We have that one and the 150th. So slide them both off to the side. Let's go ahead and take a look at box and box art. So here's the box art for the 150th scale. You can see we've got Austin McCarl. We've got uh, Country Builders and Construction uh, in Livermore, California, which is interesting because this is an Iowa-based team. Uh, we've got Tucker Trucking. Uh, what else we got in there? Do can't read that one. We got Walker Stealth Cam, uh, and then just Awesome McCall there. We got a bunch of sponsors. Pretty cool. Uh, it's yeah, Country Custom Builders. I'm sorry, Country Builders. <laughs> is is it? I did not custom. Uh, Maybe they do custom, I don't know. But yeah, overall, pretty cool artwork, pretty basic, but, you know, um, it is cool to get, this is the first, um, as far as I know, the first uh, Austin McCarl car, and it's the, at least the first one I have, so. Um, yeah, so that's the uh, artwork for the 150th scale. Now we move on to the 118th scale, which is the big box, and uh, this one didn't come with a silver, or a silver, a clear sh uh, sleeve on it, uh, which is all right, because I'm keeping this one, so I'm not selling it anyway, which is, so, you know, works out well, but um, yeah, for those of you who don't know the sprint cars are probably going to be an ebay exclusive item uh the website just hasn't gotten the traffic recently i gotta do some research and find out if i got an issue on my site um that might be causing some traffic issues um so yeah there are the sprint cars are still on there they are on the website uh all the new arrivals are but i gotta figure out something might be going on because i have had almost no traffic and i'm not sure why so i think there might be an issue going on but anyway yeah very cool art uh on this box and the good news is even though it didn't come with the clear or the plastic uh covering it's uh, the one that I'm keeping anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. So let's go ahead and start with our large car here because that one I don't have to move this off the tripod for. And then we'll go to the smaller one after that. And we got a sticker over there. I'm not sure what that's for. Okay, so here we go. You can see our number 88. It's got this metallic red paint all over it. You can see it right there. It looks like a candy apple red. It looks very sharp. It looks very good in person, by the way, too. Really looks good. No driver uh, cover here, so unlike, I think Casey Kane's had that, this one does not. Uh, Casey Kane is the only other car I'm getting from this year, as far as I know, um, with the exception of potentially, potentially the David Gravel one. Um, but yeah, uh, on the front here, you can see we've got walkers, and then we got uh, Tucker to or, uh, yeah, Tucker trucking up there, McCarl on the front of the wing. Uh, we go over here to the right side, there you can see we've got the Country Builders, number 88, and then just that metallic red and gold, just a really good color combo. we got our number 88 back here, the gold stripe across the front and to the back, a lot of that gold red, or I say gold red, metallic red on here. Um, you can see it just, it's on the front wing, it's on the side, it's on the panels, um, now, for those of you who don't know how this works, uh, I have pulled these off before, but we'll show it off again. There we go. We'll pop that top wing off, and we'll actually pop the engine cover off as well, just to show you guys the detail. We got our Simpson seat belts in there. We do have the carbon fiber seat cover. Uh, we do have pedals and the steering wheel down in there as well. There's our engine for the, uh, for the V8. And then you can see we've got the uh, radiator up front here, or uh, obviously the air filter up top uh, on there as well. Pretty good detail, though. Um, I like it. And on the uh, bottom here, what's our serial? The serial number is 210. Not sure what that serial number is significant for. I know a lot of people like to do the whole door number thing. But, uh, yes, this one's serial number is 210. And we'll slide that engine cover back on nice and flush. And then we'll uh, put this top wing back on. I've showed them in before, but I'll show it again. Slide that into the groove. There we go. And then slide the back over. There, nice and solid. So, yeah, that is our 118th scale. I love also the silver rims. I didn't mention that earlier. That it does have the silver rims on it. Um, obviously, here they are silver. In the actual car, they are chrome. I would love to see if they can get the chrome rims going on here, but I understand that it can be uh, tough to do uh, a chrome plastic. Actually, it shouldn't be that hard. Maybe they should be able to do that. I'm not sure what's going on. They should do it, though. It'd look, it'd look cool. Um, all right, now let's go ahead and get close, uh, nice and close to the 150th scale. Uh, same thing. They do come in the three parts. This one also has that metallic red uh, color-ish. I say ish. The top wing, you can see it's like a solid red. You don't really see any graining in there. 
but you do somewhat see it in the engine cover section and then not the wings. So it's weird because the body of the car, eh, no, it's just a, it's just a straight red. I think just the engine cover here looks like it's got it, but the rest of it looks pretty good. The red is obviously looks very sharp. Uh, you can see we also have our number 88 back there. Uh, I don't really see anything different from the, uh, from the 118 scale, which is pretty cool because it's very difficult for them to be able to do things like silver nerf bars, black headers, uh, black chassis, silver bumper bar, like to have all of those things matching. Um, that's pretty cool because that's not an easy thing to get all of that stuff to match. That can be kind of a pain in the butt. So, um, yeah, the 150 scale, honestly, the 150 scale is a great deal for anybody who hasn't picked one of these up yet. Um, I can tell you right now, they are a fantastic deal. Uh, they're the same amount as the 118 or the 164s were last year. And honestly, the, they're bigger. The detail is a little bit better. And frankly, I just, I think they look better too because they're a little bit bigger i think the size really works out but um by no means am i saying either of them are bad i just think it's one of those things that the cars in general really do look nice i think they they got a real good look to them so um but yeah you can find the 150 scales online i don't think the 118s are going to be there because like i said this is the only one i got in and it's sticking with me so uh other than that though guys that'll pretty much wrap up this review let me know your thoughts in the comments below also turn on the bell and subscribe for more die cast content we'll see you in the next one